I'm Simon Brindle. I'm from the Welsh Government, um, where I've worked for the last five years or so. Previous to that, I was in the private sector, working on strategy and uh, business case work uh, right across the public sector in the UK. And before that, most of my career was in the UK Treasury. And um, really good for us to be here to share our practice. I mean, some of the major challenges you've got with the recovery, um, but also um, to draw on you know what we've done as a kind of a best practice approach. And we're we're quite keen to see what you do with it. This is a structured way of getting good decisions, and that's applicable for spending fifty pounds or fifty billion pounds. So what you, what you get here in the five case model and the better business cases is about how do you get good decisions. At the heart of what we're trying to do here is get that assurance and get that quality and that consistency through so that where there is public money, it gets good value. I think some of the key lessons I bring out here are this brings a structured methodology to actually get good decisions. Better alignment with the strategy probably assume you can be able to drive out cost reductions or cost avoidance. Better efficiency when you actually are, are spending money and better outcomes because actually you're more focused on what you're trying to achieve. By embedding the five case model we've got strong strategic alignment, we've got really good options analysis coming through much better than we ever did before. So when someone comes up they say they need a new school they might end up with a refurbished school. They might end up with facilities shared with others. So in terms of the amount of money that we've got, we're, tra we're really getting good assurance that we're maximising efficiency of that. And that's a virtuous circle because that means our Treasury in Wales wants to give us more money because they know we'll spend it well. It's a game changer in terms of the commercials because before when you're talking about penny pockets of money, everyone's buying the thing separately, all paying the premium for that negotiation. We're now in a situation where we can start to have the conversations with the private sector and the people who are going to build these things of a 15-year relationship of billions of pounds. So by the time we get the 8th, 9th, 10th school on a, in an area, they're going to be free. And actually, by bringing these things together, we can actually really ramp up the quality and get people who are really experts at delivering infrastructure. We've also learned that actually it's absolutely key to have shared ownership between the stakeholders around the projects you're trying to take forward and you really understand the nature of the roles of your funders, the deliverers and who owns the assets. Because if you're not clear about that, you're never, you're never going to get the right project. A business case is an active thing, it's a planning tool, it helps you to oversee and you amend it as you go through the different stages. It's not a document that you write, someone reads it, puts it on a shelf. You need to understand what you're trying to achieve, what the benefits are and how that's going to happen, how you map that through and how you follow them through once you've got the project live. There's real honesty that you need to bring to this of actually living within your means. There's a whole issue here about transparency and scrutiny and assessment and oversight of, your, of the large amounts of money that you're about to spend. So you can maximise the value of that and you've got the high trust of the community and people up in Wellington that actually it's, it's going well and you're in control of this and you're getting good value. You need to really understand and embrace that relationship with the delivery chain so you can actually use those commercial partners so they can help you and actually give you what you need. And once you've got all of that in place, you have to deliver it superbly so that you get the recovery of, of Christchurch becomes a beacon of excellence for infrastructure delivery that you're seen as really smart and quick at doing this. Because what you, the last thing you want to know to tackle the problems you've got is stories about waste and inefficiency. So to become excellent at actually delivering this kind of recovery is a place where you want to get to.